Hey, what are you doing? Oh, this house is on fire, so we're gonna go help them. We're gonna go put out the fire. Well, what about my house? What? What about my house? Doesn't it matter? Is... Is your house on fire? No, but, like, it still matters. Nobody said that it didn't. It's just that this house is on fire and people's lives are at stake if we don't do something about it. <laughs> okay, all houses matter. What? All right, we ready? Hi, messengers. Welcome back. It's good to see you guys. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I'm going to tell you starting off at the top of the video. Uh, well, for one, my name is Juan and I'm your spiritual advisor. All right, make sure you like, share, and subscribe here to this video. Also to the Instagram channel which is one message in a bottle tarot. And also messengers meet me over at Twitter. I post different things on different accounts, but follow me on Twitter at one message tarot, one message tarot, okay? Because I want to see you guys there. I want us to be deep, sharing our thoughts and ideals and, and um, you know, perspectives so we can change the world, all right? All right, so um, hopefully you guys are all caught up. Um, last... Um, Readings we did were for Black Lives Matter, okay? And I thought, why not just make it even, okay, on both sides? We are going to do a white privilege tarot spread today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes we are, yes we are. We're going to get into it, all right? So this is all uh, for all my white folks out there. Come on in, bring your friends, all right? Um, what do they call y'all on Twitter? White spiritualist, a, a something, snow bunny, tarot. Oh, you know. Yeah, come on in. File on in. All right, we're going to go to class today. All right, there's been a lot of back and forth about white privilege and what y'all do know, don't know, are willing to learn, just don't care. But I figured, like, yeah, let's create some balance here. Now, I'll admit, when I found this spread, um, I looked under the comments and white spiritualists, they were offended, honey. They were, you know, it was a bunch of Karens in the comments. It was a bunch of Karens in the comments. And, you know, what that told me is, you know, people's, uh, white people's unwillingness to even do that, you know, well, some, I won't say all, some, okay, because not all white people are bad, right? Some white people's unwillingness to um, go within themselves, their shadow selves, and 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 be willing to do a spread to see if your own card they're going to tell you, <laughs> you know what I mean? If you have some areas, you know, or some um, thought processes in regards to black people um, in general that you could probably change and do for the better. And it was just, it was more uproar than... Um, you know what? Maybe, you know, thank you because, you know, I don't know. Maybe my heart needs to be checked, right? But there was so much resistance. The resistance showed me that it's definitely needed, okay? All right, so reading starts at three minutes in. That's uh, about the norm for me. So you can um, timestamp this for everyone there. I talk a bit and then I get into it. So, um, on my white people, all right, I've already pulled your ascension. Um, Oh, I meant to say Oracle, but I said Ascension, so maybe that's what it is. This is a good start. Your Ascension Oracle cards, they've actually been out here for a couple of days because I was doing the Black um, Lives Matter readings, and uh, I pulled for you guys, and then I set aside, and I've been resting. All right, but let's get into that first because the Oracle cards pretty much get to um, the, the heart of the matter and what you need to study and focus on overall to make decisive change in your life, all right? So the first card that was pulled is, I care for the earth, okay? I'm going to lay them all out, and we're going to do a general um, energy reading. This is the first half. I converse with awareness, all right? Really chew on these as I'm pulling them, all right? Take notes, okay? I hold purity and high esteem. All right, you have, I create harmony. 
All right. So sounding about right, okay? You have I am accepting. I am forgiving. I remain balanced in my emotions. I give offerings that are genuine. I affirm that all life is sacred. I'm sure y'all finna love it. Y'all love this card. Y'all all lives matter card. We y'all know y'all love this card. And and while that's pointed, but we are still talking about black lives, okay? But again, this card says I affirm that all life is sacred, all right? Especially black lives. All right. You see here? Mm-hmm. All right. And I am trustful in all of my relationships. Okay. Over there, I consume only my fair share, all right? You're already seeing the pattern here, right? That Spirit has given you, okay? And then, I am respectful of others. All right, so let's get into it. So this will be the first half um, of your spread, your Oracle spread. I might make this a two-part um, video and... Um, yeah, it'll probably be a two-part video. Let's just do first things first. We're going to start off with the angel and the oracles, all right? So the first card you have out is, I care for the earth, all right? This is not only just, it's not even just about a white people thing. It's also just a, a humanity thing, right? And, 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 and just respect, not only for the earth, but I'm saying respect for the seed, all right? Respect for babies, respect for birth, respect for children, respect for um, just the natural process of things, the natural order. If it is birth, it deserves life, right? Right. And so Spirit is saying, I care for that. So uh, again, we go back to not only caring for the natural earth that's keeping you but also caring deep and loving within you for that which is birthed upon this earth and we're talking again about black lives okay and and we see online a lot of the constant policing of black people just you know you got we're, we're kind of minding our own business and a lot of times when we engage with white people it's an energy of you know, justifying our existence, justifying why we're in the neighborhood, justifying why we are wherever we decide to be, right? Sorry about that noise in the background, guys. Uh, one second. I even got blue eyes so playing in the background. All right, we really gonna get into it. We really gonna vibe. Um, I might close these blinds a little bit. One second. All right. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so even black people just you know justifying where they are why they need to be there okay and it's saying that that is not something that you are entitled to okay black people are not entitled to justify why spirit why earth has chosen to birth them and place them here their very existence when you breathe in and breathe out you have a right to be here all right, so one way that you change your white privilege is, re is realizing, this is saying, I care for the earth, that everybody deserves to be here, period. It's not your job to police people. You've seen um, things in the news where black people are just trying to do their job, drop off deliveries, and you have white people running up on them. Why are you here? Why are you in your neighborhood? Why are you in my neighborhood? Um, I'm trying to do my job and drop off your shit. You know what I mean? So it's just, this car is just saying, 
if if you come across somebody, especially a black person, a person of color, before you even formulate that 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 whatever thought processes and however you came to those thought processes, whether it's through you know you were brought up, your parents are always this way, you learned them from hanging around the wrong people at school. However, you came to this thought process when the next time henceforth going forth when you encounter a person of color First off say to yourself. They have a right to be here flat out Just like I'm here just like anybody else who happens to be in that same space or walks up in that space They have every right to be here right because they were birthed because they are born All right, and they have every right to their birthright. All right, so universe spirit is saying start there first Okay, this is how you create change and start to turn your heart by saying they deserve to be here They don't owe me an explanation. They don't have to prove anything. All right Second card I converse with awareness. All right, so we're gonna get into that N word. You're not allowed to say nigga. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not allowed to sing it. You're not allowed to bop to it. We'll address all the well. They make it and they put it in music. That's a whole separate conversation. We're talking about you right now. Okay, we're in the middle of massive worldwide protests for Black Lives Matter. For a lot of people say, well, I just don't know. Or I just don't believe. So we're gonna get into the core of it. All right. So spirit is digging right in. I converse with awareness. Awareness. Check your speech. Check the, that hate speech. All right. And even if you're saying, okay, well, one, I don't, I don't do it. You know, I have, I have respect for, you know, black people and all that. Okay, but you got some friends, brother, sister. You've got some friends, and I'm pretty sure they talk crazy about black people, right? Do you check them? Do you say, hey, that's that's not nice, or hey, you know what I mean? No, you know what I mean. You probably don't. You probably don't. Maybe you're afraid, you know, of the stigmatism of how it will look for, you know, sticking up for black people. You know, they'll call you a nigger lover, so to speak. Yes, this this whole reading and these readings will be very volatile, just as much as it was on the Black Lives Matter. I'm leaving everything on the table. We're not finna play because when we play, we don't get changed, right? So we're just gonna get right into it. All right. Make sure you're checking your friends, all right? If you hear hate speech, if you hear them speaking um, racism, if you're our people and they're talking crazy and all that, step in, do something. That's how you use your white privilege. But also make sure that you yourself are checking yourself, checking your, your thought processes, all right? And if you say something crazy out of whack to a black person and they come to you and they correct you, they're like, hey, that's that's not okay or that that's not the stereotype or your perspective is wrong here, be quiet and listen, all right? Be quiet and listen so you can be educated and you can begin to, again, change your heart. Because this is a heart thing, right? This is a heart thing. This is a humanity thing, right? So this this is where you have to start, not only in your heart. We, we start with the mind, but also to your heart because that's the core, okay? So converse with awareness, all right? Don't call people out of their name. Take the um, N-word out, out of your whole like everything and if you got people that 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 um you know use that loosely and friends it's probably it's probably time to to to, to change your friends list or unblock un and unfriend some people in real life all right because we just can't have that all right that's why we're doing this all right we can't have this energy for the progression of the world we're already in the worldwide pandemic we've got unemployment we've got so much shit we want to secure i want to secure you want to secure the future for your kids and let everybody live in peace so for everybody to live in peace racism cannot exist all right so i'm knocking you upside the head just like i did everybody else all right this is how you're going to learn this is how true change is going to happen next card all right i hold purity and high self-esteem all right this is in all your relations all right i was just reading on twitter today and they're talking about you know how when black not only black people but black women go to the hospital and we're not being given the same care especially on the the as far as um pain or being taken seriously as far as our system um our, our symptoms how black black women and black people are more likely to um be in the waiting room for long periods of time and and just have be basically you know ignored not receiving the same level of care we're going into surgeries and they're being maimed okay like really like stop a lot of people a lot of white people they you know y'all have the christianity and y'all use your religion and all that but 
when, when it comes to a moral ground, all right, if you really want to change, again, this is change your heart. Use purity in every way that you operate and you interact with um, black people. I know that song was coming back. That's another ad. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? Hold yourself accountable. If you're a banker and black people are coming in to, you know, get loans and everything, give them a fair shot. Give them a, give them a fair chance. You know, housing. When it comes to giving them loans for housing, jobs. You know, if you're a white person in HR and LaQuandra or, you know, Deontay, Come to tax machine before you toss that resume in the trash. Look at their records. Look at their skills. Are they qualified? All right. That's what holding purity is in self-esteem. When it comes to pay them their coins for the jobs of the white counterparts, make sure they're making the same amount of coins. Stop shortchanging them. All right. This is what it means when it says to I hold purity and high self-esteem. You're operating and you're moving and you're changing your heart towards black people because it's the right thing to do. All right. When you die and you go to wherever you're going, whoever you believe in, he's going to ask you. They're going to ask you. All right. But again, tomorrow, every day is. And so it's a new day to change, all right? And that's what we're talking about. Next card out, I create harmony. Again, same theme here. Same theme here. Doesn't help if you hide under a rock and pretend like it's not happening. You guys, that's why we've had protests for, you know, damn near, you know, two weeks every single day. The 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 foot is not going to be let up off the gas, okay? It, gone are the days when white people will be able to gaslight Black people about what's not happening to them, the racism that's not happening to them, the police brutality that's not happening to them, the the disparages and you know the the lack of opportunity and the lack of equal pay and the lack of access for educational systems. This is why we have this harmony right now. So how do you create harmony when you're in those places and you're in those positions to make those change and really help? This is how you use your white privilege. Okay? To do the right thing. It's really that simple. It's really that simple. Okay? I know this video is not going to be for everybody. I know it's not going to reach everybody. I'm talking to the people that really want to change, that really want to make the world better for their kids, for everybody's kids, all right? That's who I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the people who your mind is already ma made up and you're going to be in my comments, rah, 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 rah. I don't answer none of that anyway. I'm going to just block you, okay? You see this here? I just got this over the weekend. We're trying to change the world here, all right? Make it a better place for everybody. So you ain't about that and, and you're just going to be racist. Okay, fine. Spirit will deal with you, all right? This is for the collective, the white collective that really wants to change, that really wants to learn. All right, so next card out. Same theme here. I am accepting. I am accepting. I am accepting. Accept that black people were brought over here from our home, from our nation, to the United States, that we built this shit on our back. Free labor. All right. Stop trying to gaslight and deny and, and, and do all that. It doesn't help anybody except the 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 the, 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 the just the evilness that your ancestors did. I even heard somebody say, oh, well, you know, yeah, my grandfather and him did all that and I shouldn't be punished and all that. Rightfully so. But again. Nine times out of ten, you're in positions of power and you're still perpetuating the same oppression against black people. Okay? So that's where it says, I am accepting accountability. All right? Accountability. If you know you're a racist, if you know you've been racist, if you know you've held, you know, some stereotypical opinions about black people, first things first, look in the mirror. All right? Then while you're, after you hold yourself accountable, all right? You start to immediately go out and work that thing. That's what I like to do when I when I learn new stuff is I immediately like to go and put that shit in action, right? So once you accept it and say, yes, I've been racist in the past. I've had racist thoughts. I've, I've said racist things. I, I'm not going to do that anymore. 
All right, then the next time you go out, you know what I mean? Make They say if you want friends, you show yourself friendly, right? Do that. Show yourself friendly to black people. Just nod. Smile. Hey, what's up? You know what I mean? And accept black people. Okay? Again, except they're here. They have a right to be here. They don't owe you any explanation. All right? So you got to accept that in your heart and mean that shit. Okay? Pause. Me. Mm. All right. Let me check my battery. See where we are? Okay. Next card up. Whew. I am forgiving. All right. So again, we go to the thing and you're like, you know, but I, you know, I, I don't want to constantly be held one, I don't want to be held for what my grandpappy did and my grandmammy did. And I can't help that our fortune was built off of slave labor and all that stuff. Yeah, I get it. But again, you're still nine times in, in a position of power or holding positions of power. And still, you know, maybe, again, this ain't for everybody. I'm not talking to in everybody. I'm talking to you if this is resonating, all right? You've held our holding positions of power where you're able to make a positive difference in the lives of black people, but you're not doing that. You're giving the, the jobs and the opportunity and the money to your white counterparts, all right? First thing, after accountability, which we just talked about the car before, forgive yourself. Sit down and really do that shadow work and think about all the times. Get a journal, Get a journal. You're probably going to fuck yourself up. Get a journal and write down. Think about all the times, all right, in the past and up to the present where you've um, oppressed a black person in some kind of way, whether it's by what you did or what you said or your thought process, all right, or how you showed entitle en en entitlement, all right? Really write all that down and examine that and get to the root and find out where it comes from, right? After you write all that stuff down, you know, pray to whoever you're going to pray to and burn that shit and then forgive yourself, all right? If you come from a family that held slaves and that's how you, you know, built your fortune and all that, then do 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 a prayer and do a, a cleansing and and forgive yourself for being, you know, like I I I don't I don't know, you know what I mean? Like Maybe you were brought up not to feel not to feel guilty and maybe to feel proud about that. You know what I mean? So maybe you need to go back to that hard space and say, damn, I feel bad for it, it being normalized and me thinking that 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 it was OK. You know, may, uh, I feel like there are a lot of people that are probably having a crazy awakening right now because it can't be avoided. You're seeing the videos on Twitter. You're seeing how police are knocking people upside the head cracking skulls and mason like you see this shit it's in front of your face all right so you see that there is a problem all right forgive yourself for how you may have acted in the past and make a vow to change your heart space so you can move with love in the future but the first thing starts with accountability then forgiving yourself and making a vow to do better all right next card up I remain balanced in my emotions. All right. Again, it's 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 a repeated theme here. It's a repeated. How are you interacting with black people? Okay. We we know about the Karens, and I don't think we have a name for the white people. We ain't gonna call them Johns when you know black people are just out minding their business, shopping, doing whatever, and and they're they're being you know held up, and and you know the police are being called. You know, rest in peace, George Floyd. You know, man, man died over twenty dollars. Some fake shit. He didn't even know nothing about. He just shopping at his neighborhood store that he goes to every week. You know what I mean? But then you had someone that wasn't balanced in their mindset, that was, wasn't balanced in their emotions, that had those preconceived notions about black people and stereotypes. And he called the cops on a man, and this man lost his life over some shit he didn't even do. All right? So again, when you encounter black people out and about, in the beach, at work, in the elevator, at the cafe, at the light, in your neighborhood, dropping out, wherever... If you feel like yourself rising up and getting all hot, like check yourself. Check yourself. Why why am I feeling this way? 
Why am I running up or why 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 have I run ran up or, or why am I surrounded by friends that feel like it's cool to run up on black people and police them and 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 demand to know why they're where they're at, demand their ID or or feel like you know you got trigger fingers calling the police on us for 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 just existing. Remain balanced in your emotions. Get to the root of why you feel that way and change that shit because it's it's a delusion at this point. And that's just real. There's no reason for it. There's no reason for it. You have all the advantages in the world. Alright? Last thing you need to worry about is a black person. Alright? Because I promise you, we don't go out into the world, you know what I mean, focused on you. We really don't. We're just trying to get what's due to us, what's right, all right? Next card up. I give offerings that are genuine. Again, we're talking about when you hold those positions of power, those positions where you're able to make a change, those positions where you're able to close the gap, okay? Give offerings that are genuine. If the people got the skills, hire them and pay them right, all right? Tip for the service that you get. I've been in the delivery service and, and delivering groceries or, 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 or whatever. And listen. Listen. Do what's right. Okay? Pay people what they're worth. Alright? Don't be trying to get over on people. I remember I'm, I'm last year I was moving to California. Looking for a place to stay for me and my baby. Got in touch with a realtor or whatever. And... You know, while the rates are high, this person, like, like, was basically using what she knew about me to really, like, scam me and kind of get over. Knew that I was, like, a really, you know, just religious person or whatever. Um, you know, basically changed her language. This is a white lady. Changed her language to, oh, praise God, praise this. It's a blessing. I'm going to bless you with the home. You know, I was telling her my budget, telling her, you know, what I got, what I'm trying to do. How I need to survive because I didn't have any money when I moved out here, you know. So I get there. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. But then when I get there to see the place, it's a whole nother thing. It's a whole nother thing. The fees were a whole nother thing. They were, they were so grossly inflated. You know what I mean? It's like if I told you I got, you know, if I told you I got $3,500, that ain't the number. But if I told you that and beforehand I get down there and you tell me, oh, no, you're good. I can get you in for $1,500. And I'm coming down there with the assumption of $1,500. But then when I get there, you're pulling out paperwork that says $3,000. When you're knowing damn well, but you're doing it because you can sense I'm in a desperate situation. Again, I give offerings that are genuine. All right, be one hundred with your dealings, man. Be one hundred when you're, with, with your dealings. You don't have to move crooked to prosper. I promise you, you don't. So if you really want to change, and you really want to right these wrongs and set society on the path that it needs to be, and ensure a peaceful future for your children, then start operating from a higher moral ground. All right. I act respectfully of others. I mean, do we do we really have to break that down? Again, you 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 see the stuff coming across Twitter and Instagram, and if you don't, just sign up to Twitter. One reason I like Twitter is because it's up to the minute news in the world as it's happening. There's no denying it. There's no editing. There's no media bullshit propaganda you know trying to brainwash you to see what you want to see like it's right it's right there all right the fact that black people are getting brutalized and murdered by the police is plain there's no debating that there's no debating that white people were able to go up to the capitol hill with guns and heavy artillery and they barely had any security guards out there but then you're watching these videos of police, you know, of a peaceful protest all over the world and seeing people getting shot at, dragged, knocked upside their heads. Why? Because there's an entitlement there. There's a system of brainwashing there that has always taught you that it was okay and that black lives don't matter. You've been taught that. 
that we're, 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 we're unworthy to occupy the same space in this world. So again, this is a heart check. This is a accountability check. This is, I start with myself. I act respectfully of others because we all have a right to be here. All right. I affirm that all life is sacred. And again, y'all love this all lives matter stuff. And uh, you, you probably already, I haven't edited this video, but I'm going to construct it in, in such a way that I'm going to break down that whole, you know, debacle of a perspective. We, we all know that that's the whole point. Everybody has a right to be here. We're not talking about everybody because most of y'all don't have to move looking over your shoulder. Go to work, you get home just fine unless the laws of God take your ass out of here. But black people, no. It's a real blessing for a black person to leave their house and come home safe and sound. Praise God. Because I know I say that every day. There's just some shit you don't have to worry about as a white person. So right now, we're talking about black lives that matter. I want you to keep saying it. I feel like a lot of times y'all have problems with it because you feel like, um, again, that saying black, life, black lives matter um, means that we have some sort of superiority over you. And it's a, it, that's some ego shit. That's some ego shit. It has nothing to do with that. If you really took the time to break down these 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 stupid you know perspectives and 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 ideals you have as far as black people and really get to know them and again I'm not talking about everybody because I know this 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 reading doesn't apply to everybody this reading applies to the people that know that they have a problem and they know that they need to change right if you really take the time to know black people we don't we don't have a problem with nobody man <laughs> we, we really don't if you good with us we good with you flat out any black person will tell you that. But I feel like the reason that most of you have a problem with Black Lives Matter is because you feel like that's asserting that, you know, some that black people have some sort of superiority over you. It has nothing to do with that. And the fact that your mind even goes that way shows that there's an entitlement thing there. There's an ego thing there, but the ego is from your own delusions. It's not from anything that black people have pe perpetuated. Because I promise you, we mind our business and take care of our families and get this money and laugh and dance and cook and, and all be merry. All right? Most of the ideas that you have has fears that have been ingrained in you from, from your aunts and uncles and, and people from way back then. It's up to you to break that shit down. It's up to you to demolish those ideals and stereotypes. You have nothing to fear. But you're being brainwashed by the media and all your friends and, and all your heresies to believe that you have, you know, something to worry about as far as black people. We're not worried about y'all. So I'm, I can calm your mind right now and, and say that, that it's, an un, it's a fear that you have that's unfounded. So while this card says, all, affirm that all life is sacred it's saying exactly that affirm that all life is sacred especially black lives especially if you've had a problem with black lives you've had friends and family members that had a, a problem with black lives affirm right now and today that they do matter and they're just as worthy of, of breath and existence on this earth just as much as you are my black son my black daughter has every right to be in the school just like yours is it's 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 all the same, all right? So I really hope I help somebody with that. Again, same theme here. I am trustful in all my relationships, all right? And look look who in the car. It's black and white. You're being called to do the right thing, to raise higher, uh, to ascend higher than what you've been taught. I don't care if that's always been the way things have been, all right? If you sit around the table at Christmas with your white family members and talk shit, you know, about black people, if that has been the norm in your family, be the first person to change that shit. And I, I'm going to give a shout out to, to, to my young people because I, I, see, I, I see the young queens and young kings on the internet too. The white people... All right, these, these youth that are coming up, they're doing better. I see them fighting. I see them challenging the ideals of their parents and their ancestors and letting them know that no, racism is wrong. 
and black lives do matter. And I applaud these children. And if you have a child that's been challenging you and been asserting themselves to you and demanding that you change your racist ways, you acknowledge that, you respect that, you thank God for that baby. That is an angel baby. We all deserve to live in peace and harmony and, and our regular lives without having it snuffed out before time. Because you ain't going to tell me that all these lies that are being taken by, by police or, or whether we're going to the hospital and getting maimed and cut up and dying there and all these, uh, those are not natural ways to die. Everybody deserves to, to live their life and check out of here however her spirit saw fit. And I know everybody said, well, when you die, you know, it's a reason. No, no, some of that shit is, is by the wrong hands, by evil hands, by racist hands that are taking these lives unnecessarily. It wasn't George Floyd time to go. It wasn't his time to go. He went to the store in his neighborhood where he know folks and everybody know his name. Like cheers, and because somebody saw him and didn't value him, he's dead. Okay, so become trustful in all your relationships and your dealings with people. It's like class, you know what I mean? You, you when 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 you have some classes in grade school, you start off with you know an A. Some of y'all see black people, and you start off with an F. Benefit of the doubt here. Don't have an opinion of somebody until you really get to know them. And even when you do formulate an opinion about them, make it about the person, not the color of their skin. The person. Final card, and probably the most important card, all right? I consume only my fair share. We've been talking about this through this whole reading. I consume only my fair share. Should reparations be paid out? You're damn right. You're damn right. You owe white people owe black people some coins. They do. They do. You may not like it, but it's facts. Because it's that blood, sweat, and tears. That have allowed you the privileges that you have. That have allowed you the one up and the level ups that you have. Sitting probably with, you know, a couple K in your bank. I just saw something on the news the other day. There were like the 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 majority black hole black household medium of income making uh seventeen thousand dollars a year. I can attest to that. Those are facts. They said the average white household has a hundred K. 100K, 150K. Alright? So then you say, well, what, what are you saying here? You want me to cut a check, you know? Well, no, I want these big ass corporations to cut a check. I want America to cut a check. Alright? Black people need a, a stimulus check, a recurring a stimulus check. And according to this pandemic, we know you got it. <laughs> All right, we know you got it, but on a personal level, on a one person level, on a you looking at you in the mirror, yes, I consume only my fair share. You can cut a check, all right? We already been talking about this. If you're an HR and you see that name come across your machine, call them in, check their skills. If they have a capability of doing the job, hire them, all right? Or whether it comes to banking and loans and, uh, and offering opportunities and, and places for black people to hold space. If you have an opportunity to hire a black person, they're qualified, hire a black person. Don't 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 hire uh your cousin that just that just graduated uh college and ain't held no job in their entire life. And you you come across the resume of a black person that's really been grinding, really been out here. But you rather, you know, hire your family member with no experience than this black person with all the experience. That's what we are consuming only your fair share. These are things that you can do on a ground level to make a change. Okay. Stop taking more than you need. Gentrification. 
all that the list I, I don't even have time or just even the mental energy to break down the space but I don't feel like this is something that I really need to break down to you because you I know you understand since so when we're talking about reparations and we talk about um, recompense yes if there's a bill that comes in in November or whenever it comes because it is coming all right it is coming because I definitely believe that these protests won't stop until until change is made until change is here and I'm here for a part of that being rep reparations and a stimulus check for African Americans and for all these families that have had p people killed by the police and, and, and having these people have their day in court. Is that the right card? No, wrong card. Alright, consuming my own, consuming only my fair share. So when you see that bill come across when it's time to vote for that if you're in Congress and you hold a place where you make um, you know change and you make laws and all of that vote for it it's old flat out do what you can to change do what you can to offer opportunity and assistance alright and don't take what's not yours Stop moving into these neighborhoods just for you to tear them, you know, moving, pushing the black people out, tearing all down the property, building it up for you and your white friends to move in. No, that's not cool. But what you can do, but what you can do is you can get that money, pour it into the neighborhood. Yes, tear down those houses, but rebuild them for the people of color in the community. Housing, rehab centers, educational centers, quality schooling. Okay, that's what you can do. That's how you can create balance. All right. All right, I gave you a lot to chew on. I hope you uh, took notes. All right, and um, I hope that you really just, 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 just sit here with it. Take it to heart and, and, and make the necessary changes that are required to cultivate peace on earth and especially peace in America right now all right and yes there will be a second video okay we're gonna do a part two to this white lives matter um not white lives matter um, white privilege tarot um spread all right so this is your oracle spread all right and leave your comments I'll answer you. Don't be talking crazy to me. But we can have a conversation. You know what I mean? And, and, and be transparent. You know, if this touched you, say, you know what? You gave me some things to think about, one. You know what I mean? Say, I really want to change. Make, make a pledge to change. Down in the comments, all right? And as I say, in, in all my readings, with, with all my signs, I didn't call out any signs because it's not about that. It's about the collective. I'm talking to the white collective. You have the ability to change. You have the ability to do better, to be better, not only for yourself, but for your family and for our children and for the world at large. Okay. All right. So with that being said, like this video. I need you to like this video so it spreads like wildfire. Okay. Share it. Share it with your friends. All right. Also subscribe here to the channel. I do um, great <laughs> readings for the Zodiac. All right. Also subscribe to the Instagram page, like I said in the beginning. Um, one message in a bottle tarot. And then meet me on Twitter at One Message Tarot. All right. Thank you for, um, for all of that. Um, if you want to support me, A Black Life That Matters, Head to my bio. There's information there on how to make a love donation and support me. If, you know, just keeping it 100 with you. You can make a love donation in any amount. You can do that by Cash App or PayPal. All right. And I really appreciate it. And I thank you. And I hope you choose to stay. I hope you do subscribe. You know what I mean? And I hope you take this one on the chin. And just, you know, sometimes you just got to take the L. I'm going to need my white people to just take this L. All right. And make a vow to do better. All right. All right, and that's just keeping it 100. Bye.